Chainsaw Man is fun to draw, so I'm going to draw him again. This is from episode one, his first transformation, where he, like, he doesn't have a shirt or anything, and he's like covered in blood, <laughs> and he's fighting all those zombies. So, what a good anime this was. I'm on a landscape page, use a pencil and an eraser, and hit pause if I go too fast. So, we're going to start with the wings at the side of the head. That's where I like to start with Chainsaw Man, so we just go carve it out. There. And carve it out again. Like so. So this then comes across the bottom relatively straight like that and then we'll just join these together like so. So then the mask gets a little bit longer out the front and then we have another line up the top. And then this curves down to there. So scratches, there is like blood and stuff all over the helmet. Little textures like that help just to show it's metal and stuff like that. And then we have the visor, so like the gaps in the helmet, right? So we've got like one, two, three, and a fourth, right? Just coming down in the line, right? And these curve then down to the bottom. Like this. And in there, right, we have this circular eye. So you can sort of draw a full circle if you want, or you can kind of wing it, or you can like trace around something to get the circle. So just in the black sections, right, we've got this sort of circle shape just suggested inside here, right? And maybe if it goes around, you've got to kind of imagine where it would be. Right, kind of in there. And all around that eye inside these is black. Right, so gum line just coming down from the mask with all the teeth, right? So say like the head kind of curves around the back a little bit here. Right, and then our gums comes out this way, right? And these are like bump around the teeth. You got these bumping sorts of lines. And this eventually disappears just up behind there. And these can have, you know, textures inside every now and then if you want. So then those big sharp teeth, so just spiking down. Real long. And you can do this any way you want, really. Like you can do sort of as many teeth as you want. Do do, and then so the big ones on the bottom. So we got like, say the bottom jaw, right? So say like we've got this connector sort of cord that comes down this way, right? And it just kind of joins the side of the mouth, right here. And then we've got another gum line just coming across here. 
and then big sharp teeth that come up inside here as well. And they go behind these teeth up here. in here Okay. And you could see some teeth around the other side, you know, the teeth at the back of the mouth. Sort of sticking up back here somewhere. But mostly it's just sort of dark inside the mouth, in between the gaps. If you wanted, you could actually color it black in between the teeth, just to make it so it's shadowy inside his, his actual mouth. Okay, so then his bottom jaw, right? So we've got like the gum coming around this way. And then his bottom jaw sticks out here. And then it'll fly down this way. Come down to a point. And back up just to there. And then there's another angle sort of line on his jaw. So it goes like up here and then down this way. <laughs> So then we have this sort of bolt that sits here and then there's like another chain on his jaw here. And this will have texture lines like this on it. Right. And this one should have something similar as well. Right, so then his helmet, right? So it like comes down this way, comes across. And then it'll go like diagonally up here. And then like we got like all these different steps that kind of step in around the back of his head here and then we have a handle that comes out from a curve this way so it goes like up this way around down behind the head there and the inside of it up across down and then the rest of his helmet will just go in here so there's lots of like metal and stuff on this, but we'll just get the basic shape, right? So I think, so we go, yeah, we'll go like step down a couple of times this way. All right, and then it like comes across towards his jaw. And then it like step up like so. Like this kind of thing and then we seem to have another handle at the back of his head right which kind of comes out here somewhere 
goes around into the back of his head up here. Disappears into the back up there somewhere. And then we have another sort of a circular area just here. And this has another circle inside. And a circle in there. And then there's another section that comes around. there and you can do this you're just kind of breaking it up into different sort of sections so you can do this any way you want really more lines there something else coming around this looks like another sort of bolt here Right, so you're kind of just breaking things up into different sort of shapes, right? Kind of like that, right? And then, so he's got all those cords that come down from his neck and go into his body, right? So that's like his neck muscles. So there's loads of these. So we go down, right, that side, the front down here. And then we have all these bumping lines that come around. bottom and join his skin right like so and so then all of these are like neck like muscle fiber lines that crisscross one another Right, well, they look like muscle fiber lines. They, they obviously aren't. They're like cords or something. So they all just crisscross each other like that. And so you just kind of keep adding these until you've filled up the whole space. Right, and then we have to add texture lines on all these as well, so sort of crisscross kind of lines that just break them up. Okay, so once we have that done, we'll go down to his body and get that all drawn in. So all the anatomy, so he's no shirt on or anything, right? So you can just see like his triceps coming out here triceps no what are they called trapezius yeah center line for his chest to be about here okay and then you got collarbones that go out towards the trapezius on that side over there shoulder muscles stick out down like so out around to here and then we can just see some chest muscles lightly drawn in like so there and then some more shoulder muscles there do, 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 do. All right so then his ribs kind of like go this way 
can just go down off the page and on this side we can just see like his bicep there tricep should be a bicep line it's not drawn in but we'll draw it in and then side of his body will be kind of up here going that way and then the bicep on this side here go down this way he's not overly muscular something like that do, 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 and then he has the cord that comes down center of his chest with a little triangle on the end like so and the inside of that and then like some anatomy lines and stuff here maybe some more ribs some abs coming down the middle Right, kind of like that. Nipples, there, there's no nipples drawn in, but I'm going to add them. Just to be a bit more atomically correct. Kind of. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't have nipples. Oh. Poor Denji. Right, so the chainsaw, the saw part of the chainsaw. So it goes out from his head right we'll go as far as we can so we'll go to say here right and there's an outside part to this so you just draw these two sort of letter c shapes right all the way out there and then we go and connect this So out to there, right? And you just want to keep that curved line going in. Like so. And then. Oh, <laughs> made a mistake there. I'm going to have to raise that. Sorry. Do, do, do. Right, and then there is another line that comes on the inside here. So, I'm trying not to mess up this time. There, and then. Along this section as well. Like that. Chain. And then spikes, right? So you just kind of got to break up this, say. Try and keep them even, but they don't have to be perfectly even because, you know, the chain moves and stuff. So. Okay, like that. And then we add the spikes. So big sort of shark fin. Alternate between a small one and a big one. Like this, right? Okay, and then of course, like scratches and there's like blood stains and all stuff, but that's done with like red color. It's not really drawn in in the anime. So you can draw in the stains, the scratches if you want. But I think that's everything. How to draw Chainsaw Man without a shirt on. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.